Welcome everybody. Can you all hear me? Thank you. Um, welcome to the Yorkshire World Railway. Sorry. Thank you for coming and supporting us on what is a big day for us. The launch of this brakeman into passenger carrying uh, traffic. Um, thank you for coming and making it a special day for us all. It's lovely to see so many people here. Just a tiny history lesson for those who don't know what a brake van is. They used to be on the back of freight trains uh, back in the day when the trains weren't through brakes. So if anything happened, the guard at the back could stop the train and protect the train, put lights on and whatever. So that's where they were. They ended in, I think, 1968. Um, and uh, this is a genuine British Rail uh, brake van uh, from that era. Now, launching a, a, a railway vehicle might not be a, a major item for uh, a lot of heritage railways, certainly our bigger friends, um, but it is for us. Um, ten years ago, almost, we didn't have a lump of uh, railway ballast for our name. And we are here now, and I, I think really it's a coming of age ceremony more than anything else, uh, because we are, are actually offering a train. Uh, a short one maybe, but no shorter than the ones that originally operated on the line. When riding in the brake van you also see uh, that there's a lot of other things here. I mean we've got the platform here which some of you might not have seen. We've got the signal box from our Hull and Barnsley uh, colleagues which is getting to the point where it's almost weatherproof. That's a big thing for us. We have an events field coming up on the, um, the left hand side as you're going up. Uh, and we, you'll also, when you get to the end of the line, you'll see where we're going to lay track going forward, which we have planning permission for already, and a lot of the materials, so we should be going to do that soon. Anyway, it's a great man day today. Uh, I've had nothing to do with uh, restoring it, um, so I can quite rightly say that it's absolutely fantastic, and I'm not overhyping it. You'll go in it and you'll see what we mean. Um, if it was in the Great Hall at the National Railway Museum, it certainly wouldn't go down to its place. It's, a, it's an absolute credit uh, to the team who, who put it together. Now, uh, I'm just going to mention the main volunteers who have been involved uh, with the, the restoration over five years. We got it uh, 1st of August 2018. Um, and um, um, and um, uh, sorry, uh, we, we got it in 2018. So it was five years of open air uh, respiration, well, under just under a big tent. Um, yes, unfortunately, I haven't got my list of names, so I'm going to ask Andy to just pop forward and go through the main volunteers if you can. Andy did provide me with another list, I'm very sorry, but I've left it. Uh, yes, well, there was myself, uh, mainly the mechanical side of it, and the uh, planning of it, and uh, Keith Tchaikovsky, who did all the uh, woodwork, uh, our lady painters, uh, Margaret and Celia, uh, Alan Brown, and uh, Dave Green uh, were the main members of the team. I think we mustn't forget uh, the late... The late Richard Broadley, who was involved with the mechanical side, and uh, Tony Page, the late Tony Page, who started the project when it first arrived. Thank you very much, Andy. Uh, in addition to our volunteers, of course, there were several uh, suppliers um, and supporters that have helped us with funding or materials or, or, or whatever, and we'd like to thank those also. Um, I don't think there's much else for me to say before we have a bit of a ribbon uh, cutting ceremony. Uh, something that's a little bit different, um, because uh, this line was originally the Malton to Driffield Railway, we have both our uh, Mr. Mayor from Malton and Mrs. Mayoress from uh, Driffield, who both will simultaneously, hopefully, uh, cut the ribbon. I've got two pairs of scissors here. So I hope they get to the right end, um, and uh, what will happen after that, we will uh, allow the, the mayors uh, to have the first ride, uh, the official ride up the line and back, 
And then after that, um, so I guess we've got um, some nibbles in the marquee there, which will be opened once the train comes back. Um, and then after that, we will be giving rides to uh, everybody with great pleasure. Um, so, if I can just pass. Did that, yes. That's it. If you just stand by there, mind the gap, as they say. And I'm going to count down. And I'm going to. I'm going to say we. The Yorkshire World Railway officially launched its brake van. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. So fire her up and we'll go away.